fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies, both a medium of exchange and a store of value. Both rely on trust, but there is one huge difference and it may not be what you're thinking. Hello and welcome to Bitpanda Academy. I'm Jessica Walker. And if you've clicked on this video, then you've probably already heard about this thing called cryptocurrencies. You might have already invested or you might be thinking about it. Well, if you're looking at expanding your knowledge on this topic and more, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Firstly, let's talk value. Currencies such as the euro, the US dollar and the great British pound are all known as fiat currencies. Now the term fiat is actually translated in Latin as let it be done. You may hear of a king or queen ruling by royal fiat, which essentially gives the person in authority the ability to enforce a law or a command. Now that's exactly what happened when the US dollar decoupled value from the price of gold. The US government, by fiat rule, declared the US dollar as legal tender, backed by the US government. It actually holds no intrinsic value. And a cryptocurrency, well, in the fewest amount of words, a cryptocurrency is a digital asset created to act as a medium of exchange. But unlike their fiat counterparts, they aren't controlled by one person or one government, which brings us to our next point. When you buy something with fiat currency, you need to rely on a trustworthy authority, such as the European Central Bank, to serve as a mediator that vouches for the currency's worth. Well, either way, if you're the buyer or the seller, you're trusting that the currency will still sustain its value after the transaction has been made. So while fiat money is subject to inflation and central banks can essentially print more at any time, the leading cryptocurrency Bitcoin has a fixed supply of 21 million units, making it even scarcer than gold. Basically, there is no risk of inflation. Essentially, when we see that governments try to print more money to get out of economic turmoil, it can cause currencies to devalue. Now, while as an end user, you might not feel the impact of this right away. You'll first notice a difference on imported goods, for example, and you might get less euro for your dollar when you look to convert. So Bitcoin's value boils down to how effective it is as a medium of exchange. It can be measured by its growing base of users, merchants, and also startups. As with all currencies, Bitcoin's value comes down directly from people willing to accept it as a form of payment. But there is no set perfect price for Bitcoin, which is why you might also see some crazy price predictions reaching as high as $2 million per Bitcoin. Now we can't ignore the centralized versus decentralized nature of both fiat and crypto. Cryptocurrencies allow direct transactions between individuals without the intervention of a middleman, such as a bank or a government. They can be spent and received by anyone, anywhere, and at any time. For a lot of people, this adds huge value. Bitcoin can be trusted because it's tamper-proof and cannot be spent twice. The fact that Bitcoin's public ledger is transparent and all transactions are visible creates trust, which is why Bitcoin continues to be wildly the most popular cryptocurrency around the globe. However, this does come with some risks. A Bitcoin transaction cannot be reversed, cancelled or charged back, meaning if you send to the wrong address or you lose access to your digital wallet, it can put you in a difficult situation. So in summary, here's what we've learned. Both cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies can be used for payments and as a store of value. You can save and you can spend both. Both rely in trust in you, the consumer, in order to work as a means of exchange. Fiat money is issued and controlled by a central bank and government. And Bitcoin can be trusted because it's tamper-proof and cannot be spent twice because of the code it's created on. A Bitcoin transaction can also not be reversed cancelled or charged back. So which of these two would you prefer to hold for the next 10 years? Myself and some other members of the Bitpanda team will share our thoughts in the comments of this video. Join the conversation and share your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more content like this.